Hello everybody, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to replace a standard wall outlet on your wall. So let's turn the camera around so we can get right to work. All right, so this is a standard wall outlet. You can buy these at Walmart. They are under a dollar and they are very, very easy to do. So if you have wall outlets like this one that are extremely old, been painted over, dirty, and pretty much pose a safety hazard, because there's paint all over them. This will be one of the easiest ways to replace them with a cheap one from Walmart that is under a dollar. So the first step in replacing an outlet is to turn off your electricity. Go to your electrical box outside. Sometimes they are located inside of the house, but 90% of the time they are located outside. And you wanna turn off all power to the house. This is very important because you do not want to risk your life in replacing a cheap outlet. So make sure you turn off all the electricity in the box. Now, after the electricity is turned off, we're going to replace this one. Make sure you get a couple of screwdrivers or a drill and some pliers because sometimes these things can get stuck, especially the wires on the side. So now I'll start replacing it. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is take a flathead screwdriver and remove the two screws that are holding the socket to the wall. Sometimes it is a Phillips, sometimes it is just a simple flathead. Most of the times on the older houses, it will be a flathead. And sometimes these things can be a pain in the you know what to take out because they got so many layers of paint on it that it's very difficult to put the screw in there without it falling out constantly. All right, we got one out. Now let's work the bottom one. Sweet, the bottom one's a little bit easier. All right, now that you have both of the screws out, so you can simply pull it out of the wall. You won't be able to pull it out a lot, but you'll be able to pull it just enough where you are able to see the wires. As you can see, this one, it has two blacks and then two whites on the side. And it does not have a ground wire like this one, which is absolutely fine. So make sure you remember what side each wires go on. Do not mix white with black. Make sure you do exactly as it's done on your previous socket. So let me see. All right, these are flathead as well. So I got two blacks on this side that I'm going to remove. And you simply unscrew the screws you can see this one, it is extremely, extremely old and dirty. All right, so one is out. Now we're going to remove the other one. All right, so another one is out. You wanna push these to the side, that way you do not get them mixed up. Then on the other side, there's two as well, pretty much identical. I like to take mines out all the way. All right. So now you can see this one it is extremely old and we're going to be replacing it with a brand new one. All right, so the way, if you look at the new one, there's two silver screws and then there's two copper screws. Most of the times the copper screws are with the black wire and the silver screws are with the white wire. As you can see right here, the black wires are copper and then the white ones are silver. So this socket will look like this. So you simply remove the old screws, making sure you keep the wires separated. What I like to do is pretty much unscrew it completely. I know a lot of people that replace these, they unbend the wires and then re-bend them onto here. But I figured that takes way too much time, especially with these, you can simply unscrew them all the way and then screw them back on. This way is easier because you do not have to unbend the wires and it just it just makes it way easier. All right, so now I'll put the two copper screws back into the two black wires. All right, once you have them positioned, you can simply use your drill or your screwdriver and one is in. And the other one is in as well. You can see they fit it perfectly just in the right spot. 
And now we're going to do the same thing on this side. I will remove the two silver screws completely. And then we're going to put them in the white wires. All right, so this is how the other side looks like. White screw, white screw on the white wire. Then on this side is the opposite. It's pretty much the exact same thing, but with the black wire. Also, when replacing your outlet, this will be the perfect time to clean back there. Do not disturb anything. Simply, if you can use a small vacuum or pretty much shovel the rocks out, that would be great. All right, so now I'm going to screw these two in. Then also, I like to screw the ground wire screw. That way, it just doesn't hang loose. And then you can simply take your screwdriver, be very careful, and pretty much get the dirt out. All right, you can see a lot of times it wouldn't bother it at all, but I just like to keep it clean. All right, and now that you have it positioned, it already comes with the bolts to put it inside of the wall and you're simply going to match up the holes and center it. All right, now that they're all the way in there, they're not really tight. I just want to position it into the center part. This way, when we add the cover, it will look perfect. All right. All right. And now the outlet is installed. And now we're going to add a simple cover to it. This is extremely easy. All right. And then you pop it on like this. And now this will be the perfect time to make sure if it fits perfectly. All right, so comes with one screw, also a flathead. Look at the old one. Now that we have installed a new one, it looks way better. Guys, if you are a rental property owner, for example, this is one of my rental properties, and now I'm changing out all the outlets, it makes the rental property look way, way better. Check it out. It's still dirty, I still gotta clean it, but We'll get to that later. All right, so this is a quick and easy way to replace a wall outlet. It can be done in like five minutes. And this is also a cheap way to make your property look a little bit better. This is one of my rental properties. It's being renovated right now. So I'm changing out all the outlets. I'm not a professional electrician, so do not take this as professional advice. I've just been replacing wall outlets for the last couple of years. They are very easy to do and it is an awesome way to make your property look way better, especially if you got the old painted ones that's been used for years and years, been painted over, look completely dirty. Replacing these will be very cheap and very easy to do. You can do this yourself. Also, this is a two bedroom, also has a living room and kitchen, and I'm replacing all the outlets in the entire house. And guess how much it cost me? Less than $25 for all the covers and all the outlets for the entire house and it will make it look way, way better. So this is a quick little video showing you how to replace your outlet at your house or your rental property. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one and for more videos of this house and how it's being renovated. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. See you in the next video. Peace out.